Pro Football Weekly tells you the guys you need to pick up for your fantasy football team in our fantasy ticker. Kevin, start with the Chris Johnson situation. It continues to be a disappointment, but maybe it's time to look out there and get Javon Ringer. Trust me, I'm just as frustrated as everyone else. I got Chris Johnson on two of my teams. And I still keep him in the starting lineup. You have to, because at some point you got to hope he'll eventually put it together. But Javon Ringer had a pretty good game splitting carries with him last week. Tennessee's going to want to run the football. If you have Chris Johnson, maybe pick up Ringer as the handcuff. Stash him on the bench, because if those carries pick up, you're going to want Ringer. It's a good offensive line in Tennessee. Hey, if he doesn't, if Chris Johnson doesn't get it going, eventually they have to turn over to Ringer, who's running pretty well. Not sure what to do with the San Francisco 49ers and their fantasy guys. We know Vernon Davis is pretty good. We know Frank Gore is great. But what about the wideouts? Yeah, Michael Kraft has actually gotten some pretty good target numbers the last two weeks, which is always a good sign when you're looking for that number two or number three wide receiver. Braylon Edwards is back. 49ers, we know they're going to run first team. It's going to set up the pass, though, and, and Crabtree's putting up some decent numbers. If you need that flex guy, he's still available in a fair amount of leagues. Tight end position, I needed a last minute change last week. Jermaine Gresham didn't play. I picked up a guy, I'm not not exactly the best pickup, I picked up uh, Daniel Fells nope. from the Broncos. Not a great one. Probably should have gone with this guy, Brent Selleck. Yeah, we were wondering when Brent Selleck would pick it up because you know that Michael Vick would like to get the ball at tight end a little bit more in that offense. And he sure did on Sunday night. And expect those numbers to pick up as long as the Eagles offense is moving, Selleck's can get more touches. Now on the defensive side, one good matchup this week, a team we just saw on Monday night, the Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah, Chiefs were blitzing pretty well against San Diego Chargers and Phillip Rivers. They play the Dolphins this Sunday, who have done a terrible job protecting Matt more. Look for the Chiefs. Tom Bahali put a lot of pressure on the Dolphins offense, which also hasn't been good to begin with. Chiefs can get you a lot of points in the defense. We saw that Giants defense start to get the pass rush going against the Dolphins. The Chiefs hope to do the same. That's our fantasy ticker for this week. For the best fantasy football information, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.